Today I'll be sharing some information on an educational video game called Immunitech, developed by the Federation of American Scientists. My name is Nisha Elam, I'm an AP Bio teacher at Forest Park High School in Woodbridge, Virginia, and my students were able to play Immunitech on a lesson as part of their unit on immunology. Immunitech focuses on innate immunity, including the role of macrophages in phagocytosis, also the role of neutrophils in the immune system. Um, additionally, it focuses on transmigration and the inflammatory response. My students were very engaged while playing Immunitech. Um, Immunitech is a video game and the kids were really interested to see if they could master the video game. In order to do that, they needed to learn the concepts related to immunology in general. Um, in relation to other educational media such as videos or PowerPoint, Immunitech is really a great option because it's not only great for visuals, but it allows the students to interact with the game while playing. In terms of actual labs, a lot of teachers would love to do labs for the immune system. However, those labs oftentimes require quite an investment of money. And Immunitech, amazingly, is a free educational software. In terms of comparing Immunitech to other educational software, it's a great option because not only does it provide really great visuals, um, really great animations, but it also allows the students to interact with the game. Each student would be at a separate computer playing the game on their own, which really challenges them to learn and master the information independently. Um, additionally, in, in terms of comparing Immunitech to a, an actual lab, Immunitech is a free software, so for teachers on limited budgets that may not be able to afford lab materials, um, this is a great option. After playing Immunitech, students' interest in immunology concepts really increased. In fact, they wanted to go back and play the game again, um, which in turn really wanted them to make an effort to learn the immunology concepts um, and take a step further in terms of their education of those concepts. Even more than that, by being able to see the graphics, the kids really could relate the terms that they've learned to actual real-life pictures. Immunitech could be used as an introductory activity to really engage students and get them excited about learning about immunology concepts, or it could be used as a post-activity after students have already been introduced to specific terms and concepts related to the immune system. For a general biology class, 9th and 10th graders, it might be more of an enrichment activity. For an AP bio or college introductory bio class, it would fit perfectly with the terminology and the standards relating to most college introductory textbooks. If you're interested in using Immunitech in your classroom, you can download the software for free from the Federation of American Scientists website, where you'll find teacher's guide and resources, including learning objectives, curriculum alignments, questions for students, vocabulary, classroom extensions, and lesson plan. Additionally, there's tech support provided for help with installation of the program. My students have played the game and as a result they've become more interested not only in immunology but in other concepts related to biology. For more information about the game or to download it for free, visit the Federation of American Scientists website.